few hours playing video games never hurt anyone, right? Well, think again. The results of a new study presented this week at the annual meeting of the Radiological Society of North America in Chicago shows that playing violent video games measurably alters the regions of the brain associated with cognitive function and emotional control after just one week of game playing. For the study, healthy adult males, we're not even talking about children here, this was, this was young, the young people, men, ranging in age from 18 to 29, who were not already avid video game players, were randomly assigned into two groups. Members of the first group were instructed to play a violent video game for 10 hours at, at home for a full week, and then for the following week not play the game, refrain from playing the game. The second group did not play a violent video game at all during the entire two-week period. Each group of men underwent functional magnetic resonance imaging, or fMRI, each individual, all of them, at the beginning of the study with follow-up exams at one week and two weeks. fMRIs are a special kind of MRI scan used to measure the change in blood flow related to neural activity in the brain. And since every part of the brain needs blood to function and calls for more blood when working hard, an fMRI actually lets you see both the brain's structure and the brain at work. During the fMRI, the participants completed an emotional interference task, pressing buttons according to the color of visually presented words. Words indicating violent actions were mixed with nonviolent action words. The participants also completed a counting task that measured their cognitive thinking and memory abilities. The results showed that after one week of violent video game playing, the video game group members showed significantly less activity during the emotional task in the left inferior frontal lobe, where we inhibit ourselves from doing or saying things we think are wrong, and also showed less activity in the anterior cingulate uh, cortex, which regulates everything from blood pressure to decision making and understanding things during the counting task. But after the second week without gameplay, the changes to these regions were somewhat diminished, but they were still present. Because these are the brain regions that are important for controlling emotion and aggressive behavior in human beings, the results indicate that people who have prolonged exposure to video games become physiologically, as in physical changes in the brain, physiologically disposed to more aggressive behavior and lower emotional functioning. But the researchers were quick to point out that learning any new activity causes changes in brain activity that are visible under fMRI scans. So the study doesn't prove that it's specifically playing violent games alters behavior. More research needs to be done to conclusively prove that link. But this study is important because even though the controversy over whether or not violent video games are potentially harmful to users has raged for many years, the Supreme Court even heard a case on it last year, this is the first scientific evidence that violent video games actually do have a detectable effect on the brain. The fact that the areas affected appear to be related to cognitive function and emotional control are very concerning. The good news for parents is that the changes did diminish greatly after a week of not playing the games. But can you imagine the impact on a kid who regularly plays these games? Or goes off to war where it's even more intense and not a game at all? If ever there was an argument for some old school entertainment, like anything that doesn't involve video electronics, video games, or apps, this is it. And ditto that for never again jumping into a war that isn't absolutely defensive and necessary.